Hey there guys and welcome back to Infamous 2. Time for the side mission special episode. My mother was in Empire City. She would have starved to death without your help. Ooh. But yeah, this mission is... Well, basically that's all that happens. Unless you're evil cold. If you're evil cold, you'll get attacked by an angry mob here. Oh, hey! I shared my food! Some of it. Where's my kiss? Oh, Zeke never gets any love. Oh well. So that's, uh, basically what I'm gonna do in this episode is I scrounged through episodes 26 through 30 and cut out all the good bits. Our doctors are being forced to serve the militia exclusively. Free them, and we'll always treat your injuries. So basically this episode will be pretty much all the interesting side missions that I did in episodes 26 through 30, which were... Pretty much just all side missions. The main story continues in episode 31, which will now become episode 27. So yeah, that's gonna, at least going to allow me to finish this LP a bit quicker. Anyway, this mission you just have to rescue these doctors here. I have to be real precise. Ah, there we go. I am so good at this game. Are they doctors? They also kind of look like police officers. Whatever, it, I guess it's always good to have more police officers and doctors roaming the streets. Anyway, now we also get a new power because we did a whole bunch of side missions. We get Ionic Charge 3. And I actually kind of want that one. It never hurts to have another tornado in my pocket or something. Also, buy the Gigawatt Drain as well. That's also a pretty good one. And moving on to the next side mission, which is... Oh yeah, I found a bird along the way. Forgot about that. So let's... Hear what this one has to say. Audio surveillance of Joseph Bertrand, file A078. I am not happy! This isn't how it's supposed to be. You... You... You turn me into... A monster! We simply have no way to predict how a conduit's power will manifest. I can't even control myself! What am I gonna do? Why would God do this to me? You, you're gonna make this right, Doctor. You hear me? The process is irreversible. I am sorry, but I don't... You think... can't help me. I have no more use for you. Sounds like Bertrand isn't exactly happy how his conduit power turned out to be. I guess he wanted something cooler, like maybe what Cole has or something. I know what you're thinking. I'm a god. I don't need life insurance. But just think of your friends, your loved ones. If they're like me, they probably pray every day for your death. What the fuck? The hell's your problem, lady? Yeah, that's karma for you. Ah, serves her right. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what the hell that was about, but at least now we get to kill one of these bastards again. I haven't fought one of these in some time, I think. I don't even remember how many times we fought this guy. Like, probably less than five. They've kind of been kind of using this one sparingly. Unlike the Ravagers and the Hive Lords, they could have used less of those and more of this guy. Because this one's pretty cool to look at, and it's not that hard to fight. See? Dead already. Alright, keel over, you big bastard. Still think that the uh, the whole mouth part and stuff looks like the Sarlacc from Star Wars. Just cannot unsee that. And then there's a couple of tiny guys whose asses need kicking. Boom! Out of there. Life insurance. One new mission until next upgrade. Holy shit, why is it zooming out so far? What the hell is up with that, I wonder? Alright, next mission is this one, in the name of science. We're studying the swamp creatures, but we need fresh tissue samples for testing. I saw some digging around in the graveyard. Can you help us? Oh yeah, this one. This one's pretty good. So basically what you have to do here is go to the graveyard, find some swamp monsters, and then you have to lure them back over there. Because that guy wants to research them for some reason. I'm not exactly sure what the hell he would use that for, but still. Hey there. Come on. Oh shit. You're coming with me. And don't kill them yet. Whatever you do, don't kill them. Because you'll need them alive. So, let's see. Can they actually hop over the walls, or am I going to have to lead them through a door? Or are they going to find their own way out? 
Oh, here comes a couple. Okay, so what you need to do is lure them over here, and then you can kill them as long as they're within the perimeters of this little park. Which I guess works. Boom. Oh, that's two for one. And another double kill. I'm getting good at this. Nope, no hitting me. And, oh, that's only one. Thought that was going to hit the other one. Ooh, destroyed a park bench. Yay, vandalism of public property. But seriously though, kids, vandalism of public property is not cool. Do not do that, okay? That's your PSA for today. And one more, boom, dead. Or at least knocked out or whatever. Okay, science guys, go and science away. Don't know what the hell they intend to do with those things, I'm not even sure I want to know. Anyway, another new power. Precision Enhanced, which will boost your zoom-in distance and also the amount of slow-mo that you get, I think. Yeah, time dilation and zoom distance. Okay, next one, this one. Mercy kill. Hey, it's Quo. What are you doing? Our friend from the ice gang continues to deteriorate. I'm afraid he's becoming dangerous. We need to intervene before he hurts someone. Oh no, we're gonna have to kill our friend? Well, I guess that makes... I guess now the mission title makes sense. So we're mercy killing our ice friend. Not exactly sure how, the, how he feels about it, though. He doesn't really seem to be doing anything. He's just minding his own business. Sure, there are cops shooting at him, but can you blame the cops? He's a 12-foot-tall ice guy. 12-foot-tall walking glacier. Actually, I don't know if he's 12-foot-tall. I'm not really good at estimating that, and I don't really know how big 12-feet-tall is in the first place. All I know is... I would I don't know how tall Cole is. I'm guessing, like, maybe f nearly 6 feet or something. Well, 12 feet would make him twice as tall as Cole. Well, he's a bit bigger than that. Maybe, like, 20 feet or something. Anyway, blow his arms off, rip his faceplate off. He is, he's, not seem, he's not talking a whole lot. I'm guessing he's finally gone off the deep end, so I guess we really do need to put him down. Sorry, buddy. We had some good times together. Kicked lots of ass side by side, but we're gonna have to cut this crap short. Because, quite frankly, you're going insane. Honestly, though, if, can you imagine if that's what they did with all people who started going insane, just kill them? Retirement homes would sure be a lot emptier. Because of, you know, dementia and all that stuff. Not that I'm saying we should go ahead and kill all old people. That's just messed up. Insane as he was, I think he was glad we were there to stop him. Yeah, he didn't really seem that insane, though. He seemed more like he was acting out of self-defense, because... Probably the police officer started shooting at him first. So, I'm not really sure how I feel about this one. Alright, next mission. This is a good one. Time for another episode of Zeke TV. You, my friend, will be my very special guest. A local TV station installed cheap oh and very God. hackable broadcasting dishes. You drain them, I'll jack them. They haven't really used this type of side mission all that often. We've only done like one of these. Where we uh, we were like around the whole movie theater area on the other island and we hacked these dishes and Zeke showed that really old black and white Disney cartoon or whatever the hell that was. I think that's the only mission of this type that we've actually done yet. So it's kind of cool that they didn't forget about that one and included another one. Where is... Okay, there's the dish. You get over there. Okay, should be close enough. How many are there? Three more? Three or four? Mugging going on down here? I don't really care right now. Honestly, though, there are so many muggings in this city. What the hell are the cops doing all this all this time? I mean, they probably don't even bother fighting the monsters that much because they're just outmatched. So what are they doing, then? Muggings are exactly the kind of petty crime that police officers would be good for in a situation like this. Because there ain't much else they can do about all the big stuff that's going on. Just leave that to me. Alright, here's another one. Drain that real quick. And then only one remains. And that is... No idea. Oh, there, on that building. I can, I can see it sparkling. Alright, uh, no wires that lead there, so I guess I'll just fly. I completely forgot about the lightning tether. For some reason. Oh, well. Final one. 
Okay, I'm in. Get you a TV. Oh boy, I wonder. Oh crap. And they spotted me. Oh, what was that? That looked like the Shatter Blast. So I guess I bought that at some point off screen. Uh, TV. Now there should be a TV right down here. But there's a couple guys over there that I probably should go ahead and kill. Or not. Uh, there we go. That's a perfectly serviceable TV. I wonder who the hell leaves their TV on a rooftop, though. Now this ought to put a few rumors to rest. Single ladies of Numeray. Time to put the rumors to rest. Yes, Cole McGrath is single and looking for love. Sure, you might have seen him running downtown, doing his best to act like a badass. But the simple truth is, man's a puppy dog on the inside. He loves all the standard crap. Long walks on the beach, Russian ladies' hair, romantic picnics with cheese. Now, if you think you got what it takes to tame the heart of this proud warrior, give him a call. Will you be his greatest adventure? <laughs> Seek, you bastard. <laughs> oh, Zeke, you are such a dick sometimes. Oh, and he just completely wasted Cole's time as well by making him do that. Oh, that's hysterical. I love this game sometimes. I really, really do. There are some huge monsters tearing each other apart. This way. Oh, boy, huge monsters. Of course, that's my responsibility to clean that stuff up. Defeat all enemies, and there is a shit ton of them. Holy jeez. Okay, we got a big guy, we got some monsters, we got missiles, ice beam. Oh crap, we got one of those as well. Jesus. These guys, oh shit, this is gonna be a tricky one. Expect lots of dying. Oh man. Okay, ice chunks are flying away, I think that's the big guys. Uh, the big guys is the reason for that though. I haven't seen one of the uh, slightly smaller guys around yet. So first, we'll deal with these. Oh, crap. And this one, whenever they might show up. Uh, oh, I thought I was going to glitch up there again. Wouldn't be the first time that finishing move has glitched up on me. I remember maybe like a dozen episodes ago. I don't really remember which episode it was, but it was definitely fairly early in the game. Anyway, deal with this guy first, at least. The, uh, this guy and the big monster can't really seem to get together. Because I don't think you can get this one off the rooftop in any way, shape, or form. Because, uh, the blast does not work on this guy. And I guess maybe if you have grenades or rockets, you can maybe use the recoil to try and knock him off, but I don't really see that working. Because this guy tends to not really move around that much. Oh, jeez. Do not want to fall off. Oh, he's down. Nope, don't need to go and drain stuff, just focus on getting the weak point first, and then we'll go and drain some stuff to get some more power. Crank that stuff open, because if you leave him alone for too long when he's on his knees like that, he will just regrow his arms and he'll have to weaken them all over again. Okay, get some power back, and now we're gonna wrap this up. This guy, at least, will still have some swamp monsters to deal with, but those are not that really that big a deal. Unless there's a Ravager or something involved. God, I still hate those guys. Come on. Lots of explosions to the face. Oh, jeez. Crap. Need some juice. And some street lights. That'll do. I suppose. Still haven't really done much at this big-ass ice tower over here. The, uh... Pretty sure that's the ice guy headquarters. But then again, the story is not yet over, so maybe we'll go there at some point. Oh, jeez. Nice landing. Not exactly sure what happened there, but better than landing straight on the back of his neck. Damn it. Hate these guys so much. Going back up again. Nope, might grab that thing. Way faster than climbing. And boom. Okay, that grenade went absolutely nowhere. And we got one down. Finally. Alright, keel over. Kinda wish these animations were skippable, because we've seen that one a bunch of times now. And it's the same every time. And, ooh, Blast Shard. Going up. I don't really think I... Yeah, I think I only need 26 more to get every single Blast Shard in the game. 
Oh, jeez, he can spit. Damn. Oh, that grinds you up as well. Oh, that's nice. Let's see, can I snipe him from here, maybe? I don't think he can really hit me if I'm up here. But we need to also recharge. This is probably a safe bet for that, because there's no way this thing's running out of power. Or maybe it does. Ooh. Some pipes. Doesn't seem like any electricity runs through them, so that's kind of weird, but whatever. Come and get some... Oh, jeez. Oh my god, you're brave. Yes, I am. Take some nuts to take this thing on. Oh, crap. I hit that grab and move. So nasty. I'm in awe, dude. Oh, he totally loves me. I don't really know who the hell's seeing that, though. Oh, crap, smaller ones. Eh, he's not that much of a problem. Boom, you're dead. So, just this guy? Yeah, this is not gonna take very long. Oh, crap, he's gonna try and grab me. Pretty sure you should be able to stop him from doing that if you just shoot him enough. But whatever, he's dead now. And mission completed. Excellent. Take a good chunk of territory. It's always nice. And... Ooh, Blast Shard Sense. I think that's the final site mission related power. Pretty sure... Pretty much what that does is... You know how you use the, uh, the sonar thing to check for stuff with lightning in it and also Blast Shards? If you use that, then the Blast Shard that is closest to you will remain permanently marked on your map until you pick it up. Makes it a lot easier to collect all the Blast Shards, because in Infamous 1, you did not have anything like that. You just had to climb and crawl all around the city to collect all the Blast Shards, and just hope that you get all of them at some point. Big improvement. So, yeah, that pretty much means that we've basically done all of the side missions. So, in the next episode, we will go and do the next story mission. Pretty sure only story missions remain now anyway. So, LP's almost over. Get ready for the exciting conclusion. See you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.